Hi, welcome to Amster. Today I'll be viewing this A10 dual lens dash cam. A short while ago I did a unboxing video of this and also went over the menu system. So today I'll just be covering the pros and cons for this dash cam. Let's first of all with video quality. The daytime video quality is decent. I, I can see the license plate of the vehicle in front of me. I, for the vehicles to the side of me, the license plate was not that clear. Now for the rear camera, the rear camera is not HD. I see it more as a like a parking type of camera. It does record when the vehicle is in motion, uh, going forward or back. For the front camera, that's very simple, just mount it with a suction cup. For the rear camera, I already had a T wiretap connected in the back, so I just tapped into that. And the cable that went from the back camera to the front camera, it's a very long cable, so it was more than enough for me to run around the side of the vehicle. This is the front facing camera, and this is the rear one. And once I put the car in reverse, it switches to the rear in full mode. I didn't see a way to get rid of the guy lines. A lot of the other parking cameras, they have a wire where I can snip to get rid of the, the guy lines. But with this one, I did not see that option. And also with the rear camera field of view, it's more narrow. For a three minute recording in the daytime, it's anywhere between 300 megs to 375 megs. For nighttime, it's more towards the 300 meg file size. I'll classify this as a budget dual lens dash cam because the image quality is just okay. The nighttime video quality is just adequate. But it's really a price that I think will appeal to most buyers out there. It's about $45 off gearbest.com. Make a list of the pros and cons, check off what's important to you, and make your buying decision from there. I'll place the link to this item in the description below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching Oprah Hamster.